Hi, welcome to my video. We're about to make a nice ratatouille here. Ratatouille is originated from the south of France. I think I eat my first ratatouille. I was maybe four years old. So there's a lot of history between me and ratatouille. So this is how I do it. Here I have some onion, mix of uh, diced peppers, red, yellow, and green pepper, some yellow and green zucchini, or yellow squash and zucchini, some eggplant, tomato paste, salt, pepper, chopped garlic, and tomato. You'll have your recipe uh, in, the, in the description. And here I have a nice bouquet garni with some thyme, some nice basil, some sage, and voila, that's my bouquet garni, okay? So first thing, we're going to put a little bit of oil here, let it warm up, and then I'm going to start adding my vegetable one at a time. First I will start with my peppers that takes the longest to cook, then I'm going to add the onions, then I will add my squash, eggplant, the garlic, let that cook, and then finish with my tomato. When everything is done together, I will add my tomato paste, the bouquet garni, and I'm going to let it cook till it's nice and uh, soft. All the vegetables need to be completely done. There is no crunchy ratatouille. Okay, it needs to be more like a, a jam consistency, I will say almost, or a nice compote. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we all come to a little smoke here, so I'm going to add my peppers. You don't really want to get any color onto that. Huh? You just want to let it cook nice and slow. Not too much color. I'm going to season with salt and pepper each time I add a vegetable. It's easier to season, to season it as you go. I think it develops a little bit more flavor. I will use that ratatouille after for different dishes and garnishes that I use ratatouille in. And I hope you look at those videos too. Sometimes what you could do too is cook all the vegetables separately and then combine all of them together at the end. This is another way. I like this way because I just save on uh, cleaning all those parts after. And it's so I know that it's going to be very good. I made that recipe hundreds of times. I used to work in a restaurant in Paris called Maxime. Great restaurant. I'm sure many of you heard of it. And I used to make tons of ratatouille over there. We used to sell that a lot. And Pomme Maxime too was a big vegetable dish we used to make. I'm gonna do a demo one day of Pomme Maxime. Beautiful little crispy potatoes. Very good. And the atmosphere is is unique. Okay, now I've broke down a little bit, I'm going to add my onions. Here I'm using actually scallions, I had some leftover scallions, so I use that. If you don't have scallion, you use regular, your regular Spanish onion, it works fine. So again, I start with those because they take the longest to cook. And even if I want the ratatouille to be, you know, I want all those vegetables to be completely cooked, I don't want them uh, to fall apart. You know, they need to be fully cooked, but they need to hold together. And this is, this is the way we're going to cook them. It's going to allow us to have nice vegetables that are going to keep, I would say, their shape. They're going to stay together, but they'll be fully cooked. And they'll be flavorful. Each one of those vegetables will bring so much flavor to the dish. But for that to happen, it really needs to cook on a low heat. You don't rush, you just don't rush food like that.
my zucchini and yellow squash. I'm going to re-season that a little salt, pepper, and I'm going to let it cook. If at one point I see that it's a little dry, I may want to add a little bit more olive oil. Huh? We need to add some olive oil in between also, as we add more vegetables. Here it's okay for now. I know that when I'm going to cook my eggplant here, when I'm going to add them, I will need to add more oil at that one because eggplants are like sponges. They absorb so much oil. I have Chef Pascal coming back in two weeks from now. We're going to make more charcuterie. We'll be making some blood sausage, also more garnish out of um, vegetable. Nice little flour. I put a recipe up last week of the first one we made together. Unfortunately, we used a, a radish which is white and uh, it didn't really come out too well on that video. I'm not too happy about it. So we're gonna make another one. Okay, I'm going to add my Eggplant now, this aubergine. Aubergine, this is how you say eggplant in French. This aubergine. Zucchini, A zucchini we say, how do we say zucchini again? Oh, I'm losing my French. Des courgettes, zucchini, oui, des courgettes. Red pepper, you said des poivrons rouges. Red pepper, poivrons rouges. Let me give you a little French here. French lesson as you cook. Des poivrons rouges, red pepper. Green pepper, we say, poivrons vert. And yellow pepper, who can say, who can tell me yellow pepper? I can. Poivron jaune. Okay. A little bit salt. Pepper. I'm going to need more olive oil, so I'm going to add some more olive oil here. A good three tablespoons. Okay, I'm going to add my tomato paste. My garlic. In a little moment, I will add my tomato. Tomato in French, the tomate. In tomate, we oui. tomato paste. Concentré de tomate. Du concentré de tomate. I think I'm going to start giving you guys some French lesson here as I'm doing that right now. That'd be cool. Nous allons faire une ratatouille. Une belle ratatouille. Pleine de couleurs. De couleurs et de flavor. Comment on dit flavor? Et du goût. Okay, I'm going to add my tomatoes now. Mes tomates. J'ajoute mes tomates. I add the tomato. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that video, I think, now as a little survey. Je vais faire cette vidéo, je vais l'utiliser pour faire un, une, une recherche, j'irais dire. You think it'd be fun to learn some French in the video also. You let me know. 
Because I don't want to bother people. Alors je disais, vous allez me laisser savoir si vous voudriez que je fasse les vidéos en français et en anglais. Comme cela, ça vous permet d'apprendre le français ou l'anglais. Yes, it's good in both sides too. I could in both ways. French could learn English and you guys could learn French. Let me know what you think of that little idea. Okay, now this is looking very good here. I'm going to add my bouquet garni. So all the, the herbs I showed you earlier, I'm going to tie them and make a little bouquet and just add it. I'm doing that right now, you don't see it. Ok, now I'm going to lower my heat also. Je vais baisser le feu maintenant. Je vais baisser le feu. I'm going to lower the heat. Add my nice little bouquet here. Ok, and now I'm just going to let it cook nicely. Slowly. It's going to take, I will say, 30 minutes. Okay, so the ratatouille is cooked. It's beautiful. I tried it. It's well seasoned. You know, you need to make sure that all the seasoning is good. If you need to add a little bit of salt, pepper. You know, sometimes you could add, if you want, if you want a tiny bit of smoked paprika to twist it up. Okay, I wouldn't call it a classic ratatouille in that case, but it's good. Cumin. Cumin is a good little spice that goes well also with ratatouille, you know. So you see, uh, I'm going to show you here, I did a little setup, how you could present your ratatouille, you know. This is, uh, it's not always easy to, to come up with some ideas. So me, I use sometimes some different ring here, but I have different size. And I would just fill up the ring with my ratatouille. This way. Trying to keep it all inside the ring. Just like that. And then you want to make sure you, you pack it, you know, well. And then just remove it this way, you know. And present it. If we want, we could put a tiny bit, have some nice basil here. And you could do a little, a little uh, you could do a nice little plate like that. So you could do, you know, different, different thing uh, using different ring mold, okay? You could also make some nice quenelle. So to make some quenelle, you take two nice spoon. They need to be large, huh? This is here. And then you, you get some ratatouille in it. And you're going to shape it, helping yourself with another spoon like that. So you put it this way like that. And this you're going to twist it. Okay, and you twist again. And you want to kind of pack it together so it keep a nice shape. See? And then you need to drop like that onto your plate. Another one. You take your ratatouille, you make sure the spoon is nice and full because you're going to lose some. And then you put your spoon this way. Up. And you pack it together as you twist your spoon. And this is how you make some beautiful quenelle with ratatouille. Then those little quenelle, you could decorate them. I'm gonna put a little herb, but I really like cilantro here, tiny bit. What I like about the cilantro is you can just bite, a big bite out of it, and it kind of explodes in the mouth with that beautiful, bright flavor. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy to learn how to make a ratatouille and how to present it nicely.